Hey guys, Cool Blonde Wave back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Eric. And we're back with Ben 10. Uh, the last episode we had, we dealt with uh, Fool's Gold, mm -hmm. where they ate popcorn and pooped out gold, and then if you made them eat meat, they turned into a real big monster that ate everything and would destroy the world or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Apparently. Real bad stuff. But don't worry. That's all taken care of now. And now that city will die because they don't have any gold. Yep. All Much right. like real cities that are entirely based on the gold commerce, when the gold dries up, they become ghost towns. Yep. Like, overnight. Now they're just real shit. And they turn into, like, tour hot spots and places where movies are shot. Oh. Okay, so less shit. We're Let's learning go. things. Popcorn! Whoa. Where is it? Green watch thingy? Hourglass symbol? Turns you into all kinds of superpowered aliens? Yes. Never heard of it. Ah, it's such a bug funny thing. Uh-oh. This guy like a bounty hunter? It's like yeah. Lobo mixed with a green goblin. Yeah, it's like Lobo and green goblin's exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> Oh no, he cut off my thunder. Finder of rare and thunder. precious objects. Oh no! Super catchy. Oh! Turn into a humongous sword. Seriously? You carry an axe and your name is Thunder? Well, I guess that's no worse than. Humongous! Told you, turn to humongous. Uh oh, time, time mm. ran out. Okay. We haven't had that in a long time. Yeah. Alright, Aaron, you gotta get off my wrist. Why'd you show him? Don't worry about the details. You just cut off your hand. No! Oh. What? It's probably got some kind of safety. What happened? The null void? How did they get here? Where is here anyway? I mean, maybe it's. Didn't we go inside the. Oh, okay. Oh, man. I was like, didn't we go inside the Omnitrix once? Yeah, don't make a lot of noise, dude. Oh, my gosh. It's like the thing in the desert. Okay, it's probably right starving. Now, it's time to go. Ah! Hero? Well, that makes sense. Well, that's a shame. How does that make sense? Well, because you'll see here in a second when you see the title of an episode. Single-handed. <laughs> okay. I get it. I can still feel my hand, but... Oh, it's back in the real world. He's and, got it! Yeah, he's got yep. it. Oh my gosh. Put it with the rest of my cool stuff. <laughs> like an evil Indiana Jones. Well, if you can still feel it, you should still be able to hit the button, right? Oh, look at it. Quantum entanglement. Oh, man. He's beating him with his own stump. Stump. Hey, it's like what William Shatner did to that lizard. Kinda. <laughs> oh, ding! Whoa. Slippery little thing, aren't you? That <laughs> little thing. Ah, there's two in the eye. Jesus. Oh my gosh. Punch him in the face a few times. How is Ben's hand so much more effective than all of Ben? It was unexpected, okay? Yeah, how is it a what? Like, uh, mail it yourself. Aware? Mail yourself. <laughs> what? Okay, what's my doing? Is it pulling in? What? Is it using the his... Omnitrix? Yeah, is it using his brain? Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh!
Hey, is that the girl? Yeah. What's her name? No! no! Julie, turn around! <laughs> Damn it! I thought I was gonna go chew that hand off. Got a snack? He's gonna bury it, probably. More monsters! This thing just gets better and better. Wow, mutt predators. My hand feels like dog slobber. Uh... It's like the beginning of a here, Law and Order episode. Yeah, right. Oh my god, call the police! Man, this place stinks. Come on, give me a hand here. I said give it, bad dog. Whoa, hey, what's going on? They can see what that is, though, right? Yeah. That'd be, I, I wouldn't be wrestling a hand from a dog. I'd be freaked out. Hey, don't you want to stop the dog from eating it, though? Hey, boy. You threw the hand! What did you do? The hand just jumped up in front of you and took off running. <laughs> what is no! Oh, will he turn into something there? Should. I don't know. Ah! Oh. Yep, he does. Big chill. <laughs> he still says it. I don't think he has control over there. It just so happens. Can he fly without a hand? Okay. Well, he has his wings. How about a little swap fire? How do you do that? Oh god, run! Run, kids, get out of here! Never go outside again! <laughs> Ever again. Oh god, his other hand! He regenerates. Luckily. Yeah, it's got some kind of magical red thing. Oh, because it's on his chest now, he's able to kind of yeah. change. What he should do is he should cut his own arm off just below like where, the ear? Yeah, and, and then it regrow it. Maybe it don't work that way. <laughs> oh no! Oh god, he rocks! Would you prefer to land? Oh, thank ah! goodness for one of these guys. Aren't these guys good? They don't look good. Completely grossed out, but alive. I hope that's not acid. The Omnitrix. Then. Ah! Oh, sorry. This is so strange. My mind just went to some weird places. <laughs> I'm surprised it took you that long. I mean, it didn't. I was just debating if I wanted to say that it went there. <laughs> uh oh, how did he find this? Oh, yeah, his little phone. Oh, great. It's Sunder the Retriever. You know him? Deals in one of a kind artifacts. Wonder what he wants here. Duh. <laughs> right. Okay, keep him busy so I can Man, get sometimes Kevin's out. great, sometimes he's dumb as a rock. <laughs> Man, he dances a rock. Just quick. <laughs> oh. Kevin, can you work a little faster? I can help buy a little time. I get bigger. Yeah. Did his hand get bigger? Yeah. His hand that, totally got bigger. Did ever happen? He did something like that before. Long, but she needs a weapon. I already have one. So you're saying you want to hold Ben's hand? That's not funny. It could come in handy. Kevin, yeah. stop! Yeah, I'm out. Okay. No, there's another one. Just wait. Quick, turn to Humongousaur. Are you crazy? Swamp fire. Wait, what does he look like? I go, I go! No. Goop! Swamp fire! 
Diamond head. Ah! I'm so happy you're pointing in that way. <laughs> right. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Still just shooting. Legolas. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's why I brought it up. The sound effects were like. You can have the Omnitrix, just let her go. The Omnitrix first. Never. Did he mean to do that? I think he's summoning back Ben. Hey, put your hand back on. How did I. Tell Jim? Now, where's his hand? Terrible if he just swapped places. Anyone seen my hand? Somebody give Ben a hand. Somebody turn him into Mosasaur or something. Jeez, he's fast with that axe. Uh oh, not the car. Not the car. Not the car. No! I thought Kevin was gonna punch Ben there. <laughs> <laughs> In my car! Am I telling me what's going on here? Short answer. Energy apps plus Omnitrix equals dimensional displacement, which means your hand is probably wherever you just were. Oh, no. This was not the solution! The null void? How do we get it back? Simple. All we have to do is reverse the polarity of the thing that displaced it in the first place. He's not a doctor who does a lot of times. The axe? I said it was simple, not easy. I won't ask again. The Omnitrix is history. Gone. Finito. We don't have it. You don't have it. You can lie to me, but you can't lie to my skin. Hey, what's the deal? Hey, where'd it go? You're it's lying to my skinner. I mean, I can still feel my hand. Oh no, it's gonna start like a whole religion, mm -hmm. isn't it? They're gonna worship it. <laughs> oh. Just shut it. Follow my lead. Forget the Omnitrix. What if I told you I could get my hands on a Praxian antimatter cannon for you? I'm listening. I got another buyer coming later, but I'd much rather do business with someone trustworthy like you. <laughs> Skip the sales pitch. Just show me the antimatter cannon. <laughs> Rainstorm. God. History. Anita, eh? Sunder! I implore you, do not exact vengeance upon my veracity impaired colleague. I hereby definitively, albeit reluctantly, relinquish all claims on said Omnitrix and render it into your possession forthwith. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I think Brace from would freak me out in live action. Yeah, it would. Bravado, were you cognizant of your imminent encounter with... You mongosaur! Bring it on, Tiny. I can beat you with one hand by following another dimension. Then again, maybe I could use a... 
Jeez, Gwen. It's really handy they have Gwen. <laughs> I don't mean that as a pun. Lots of Too late. Yes! Lots of numbers! How many, Calvin? They're all missing a hand. <laughs> yeah, we got the axe. We got an axe to grind. I don't need an axe to finish you off. Look at that, Echo Echo for the win. That's it. I need a recharge. Then we better get your hand back before he wakes up. Ah, what are you doing? <laughs> Keep the beam fixed on Ben's arm. Uh huh. What are you doing? I'm gonna this chop your arm off. Just right. And if it's not. Then bits of you get scattered across multiple dimensions. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure I can do this. Pretty sure? Ready. Steady. Go. Just do it already. I would use two hands. Oh, God! Oops. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> I meant to do that. I'm really gonna do it. Oh, for the love of the... <laughs> oh. Did he get sucked in there? I don't know why. back in one piece. Told you I could do it. I did it. I'm the one who beat the bad guy. <laughs> Single-handed. Speaking of Sunder, where'd he go? Why didn't any of them get sucked in? They were closer. Uh-oh. Give it back! I command you give it back! They're a lot bigger than I thought they were. Yeah, I know. Were. At least the one is. Alright. What Sunder gets for trying to take our stuff! Powers Booth. Powers Booth? Yeah. Cool. I know that name. He's uh, Gideon Malik from Age of the Shield. Oh. Okay. Dude, we had, like, almost every alien in this one. Yeah, yeah, Spider Monkey, Humongosaur, yeah. Big Chill, Swamp Fire, Jet Ray, Goop, Ooh. Diamond Head, Brainstorm, Echo Echo. I missed Jet Ray, I think. So we had nine. nine. And nine of them. So Alien X is out. Really only Still. One. Which is the only one we don't use because it's dangerous. Uh, yeah. Still only used it once. I think. Which, doesn't that stop time? Anyway, uh, no. yeah. Well, I mean, it, it freezes him, and he's like yeah. immune. But like, the world was still happening around him. Wasn't. And you have. But to, then like, you could just fix whatever happened in the meantime. If you can get the two personalities to agree, which sure. is like impossible. Yeah. Well, he's, he's done it. It's not impossible. He did it once. And it took so long, and almost everyone died. But then he fixed everything, and it was fine. Uh, I think there were still some issues. But maybe not. I don't know. I, it fixed enough. No, just it's dangerous. Don't use it. Use something else. Use it's your, dangerous oh. for the writers. You give this kid ultimate power, and you never let him use it because it's not this hard easy. to write limitations into something without limitation. Yeah, but right? the two heads have to vote. Calvin, we don't want season three Ben doing it. That's the issue. <laughs> I think this, this episode was pretty good, though. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I don't know. He convinced that judge real quick. He did. In this episode, though, uh, I don't know why things happened the way they did. Like, why cutting off his hand with that special axe equals sending his hand to the null void. I don't know. But it does. And then, at the end, like, shooting it and using the axe was able to bring it back, kind of, somehow? Yeah. I mean, because they reverse the polarity of the slice. They reverse the polarity. Yeah. Kevin knows what he's talking about. But shouldn't they have started from here and then gone like that? Hmm. No. No, because the polarity was being reversed, and then you had to add in the item that uh, did the thing to begin with. Yep, makes sense. No. Yeah. 
No. Uh, yes, Calvin. Obviously, no. it worked. It clearly worked. It no. clearly is the right answer. It doesn't make You're sense, wrong. though. It doesn't make sense. You don't make sense. It's all fake. <laughs> he turns into aliens. His hand was moving in the other world. It's all weird. But it just worked. There's a lot of things that didn't make sense in this. The Omnitrix plus the axe made the hand get displaced. So then you reverse the polarity on the hand slash the Omnitrix area and then add the axe and it brings it back. Okay. How does the hand... Know where it's walking? Know what it's doing. Um, well, because Ben is still able to control it. Yeah, but it doesn't have... It doesn't have eyes, Ben's senses. Ears, well, the alien DNA in knows. the watch allows it to operate independently. Yeah. So it does but it's have not a, senses? But it's not... Well, a hand has senses, yeah. What? Your hand senses stuff. Just you were just talking feel. earlier today about how your hand couldn't just, feel anything. Just feel That's stuff. a sense. It, yeah, I know. But, but it can't see where it's going. Maybe it can't do the honor tricks like a big old eyeball. Yeah. You ever think of that? Big eyeball. Bitch. So, all of the alien DNA is active and conscious and observing its horrendous existence at all times? Um, there's definitely some elements of that because we you had are. Ghost Freak that was a DNA that was able yeah, to. Yeah, but do we don't have Do- Ghost Freak anymore. Yeah, we so have how other this, aliens that we don't know, including Alien X that can do anything. So, so bam! Alien we, X. Do no. have Alien X being used, but not no, not be, but not being used. Well, if if you're saying that Alien X's powers is that Ben's hand can observe its surroundings, I'm just saying why can't it? Well, okay, but if you're saying that we're doing that, then we would have had to convince both of those entities that that was a good idea. I mean, maybe all you need to convince is that those entities are aware of all the surroundings, thus the Omnitrix is aware of all the surroundings, thus the hand goes where it needs to go. Because it's Ben's hand, and Ben can move it. So you're saying it's Ben? Yeah, mixed with Alien X having omnis- omnipotent powers. or omni- omni- omnis- Omniscient? Omniscient powers. One of those two. Some omni-something. Because it's an Omnitrix. There's definitely omni-powers. Gotcha there. Well, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Ben 10 Alien Force Classic. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe. If you didn't enjoy it, subscribe anyway because subscribing always helps. And just make sure you like the video as well. Engagement is fun. Omni engagement. Omni engagement.